Aleichem. So, I wanted to tell you something very wonderful on, on life. So, in a lecture of 100 people will sit in the same place and will sit and listen to a very fantastic teacher that will guide them, give them amazing life advice. So not everyone will receive the same knowledge and the same wisdom. Not all of them will develop in an equal way as a result of that class. And how can it be? The speaker, the rabbi, the teacher, he was saying the same words. Everyone heard the same thing. Just people had different vessels. So they're containing different amounts of wisdom. And also there is something that calls the intention of the person. The way that you're receiving the information. And not only how much that you're able to receive, just also the way that you're receiving it, the way that you aim your heart, that you that you wish to receive the wisdom, it's not only increasing the amount of wisdom that you can receive, also it's purifying, purifying and I think you can say hiring, bringing it to a higher place, the in, in information, the wisdom that you just received from from that speaker so now what a person should do that he will have the vessel to contain what should a person do to have that pure intention that all of the words of wisdom that he will receive will make a change in his heart so you know that a lot of times I'm saying that a person should connect himself to the truth but what that truth is all about so we're talking about a certain preparation, a certain will that a person must have inside of his own heart that will bring him to that place of wanting to, to learn and to grow and to develop and to succeed and to come closer to the Creator. When I started my tshuva, I was so far from Hashem, I couldn't care less about religion and about stuff like that. I just I wanted to take responsibility on my life. I couldn't understand how can it be that I will go and 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 and, and clubbing and and hanging out with friends when when I'm not really happy to do it and still I was doing it even though that I was not happy doing it. And I felt that I was lying to myself. So when you feel that you're lying to yourself, when you feel that you go every day to work and you work in a place that you hate, that you don't want to hang out between those people, and not because that they're bad, not because that they're evil, just because it doesn't suit you, it doesn't fit for you, it's not the right thing for you. So in that time you need to change, so you need to be honest with yourself and to deal with what the, the truth is saying to you. So for an example now, you're working in a certain place and you don't want to do that anymore. You don't feel like working over there anymore. So you want to quit. So am I telling you to quit your job? No. Why? Because then you're going to ask for my WhatsApp and you're going to start asking me what to do now. You're unemployed. You don't have a job. You don't know what to do. You can't cover your debts, your, your payments, your bills. So I don't want that. So what is the advice really that I'm giving you? The advice is that you need to connect yourself to the root of the problem. What really caused the problem that you have? Why really you suffer in that place that you work? Is it something that can be solved or that maybe you're really doing something that you're not connected to? And now let's say that you want to quit that job. That's the conclusion. Okay, it's not for me. I don't want to be a dentist. I don't want to be a lawyer. I don't want to work as a clerk for the rest of my life. I want to do something else. I want to be an uh, uh, amazing, inspi inspiring, ins ins inspiring speaker. I want to go to 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 be a Talmud Yeshiva. I want to go and 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 be a sailor. I want to be Popeye. Okay, great. So. Do that. Now, what is stopping you? I'm afraid I won't have money. Great. What's the problem of not having money? Because you won't be able to pay or that you're afraid to deal with the fact that you're going to have to take responsibility in a different way. 
maybe now when you're working in a certain job that is all set and ready and and everything is 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 comfortable for you so you don't need to challenge your faith in the creator maybe if you're gonna go and you won't work you're gonna have to deal with the fact that your lack of faith lack of trust in Hashem maybe now when your parents supports you maybe now when there is a certain institute that supplies food and whatever to you so okay you can live your life like that but maybe if you're gonna dare to go and search for the truth to be who that you really are you're gonna have to deal with the fact that your confidence is weak that your faith is shaky and that you're not so sure that Father in Heaven will supply all your needs those thoughts that direction of dealing with that being able to stand and to say the truth okay now I'm scared I'm kind of lost I don't have the answer I'm not sure if my prayers works those questions are the questions that need to be asked that's the attitude that a person needs to have in his life to dare to go to the field and to solve the real problems of your life to go and to speak with Hashem on that to tell him listen I want to quit my job but I'm terrified I don't want to stay in that place anymore but I'm too scared to change so can you help me to work on my faith on my trust in you on my confidence because that's what really I lack of and when a person got that intention so he become to be a qualified vessel to contain the bounty one second we're going out to commercials Israel Nathan is it yours you did it Israel where are you Israel you painted this yes you made it it's so beautiful and gorgeous such a sunny day thank you Israel is it for me no it's not for me for who is it who you made it for for yourself okay great so Israel Nathan made this amazing amazing painting with the watercolors Baruch Hashem I'm proud of you Israel so when the person is connecting himself to the truth to his real truth that he's scared that he's terrified that he's not so sure in that place he can grow if you're gonna deny your situation if you're gonna say no that job I hate it no those people they're evil so why are you staying Oh, they're not going to pay me outside. What are they paying me here? That's not the truth. You're too scared to leave. It's not because that someone else will not going to pay you. No one is paying you. There is Creator in the world. There is Father in Heaven in the world. You can ask from Him. Maybe He will answer your prayers. Maybe He will give you things that you never imagined, that you never even hoped for. You don't know what is hiding behind the corner. You can never know what's really is the potential of your success if you're gonna dare to be who that you are to throw yourself to the water I want to tell you a big chidush something that is amazing that Rabbi Nachman of Weslev said Rabbi Nachman of Weslev said that the word Ata Aleph Taf and He is a holy name that is power the power of that name Ata is to open the sea like that Moshe Rabbeinu opened the sea so the name Ata Aleph Taf He is a holy name that a person can open the sea with. Okay, great. First of all, we never heard about that word name Ata. Ata, we know that it's a it's a word. It's we didn't know that it's a name. Ata means in the holy language, you. Ata you. So on 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 a person not plural you just an in the in, in the individual you is ata okay so ata is a, is 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 a word it's not a name but rabbi nachman of breslev is saying to us ata the word ata the name ata is a word that is able to open the sea so what's the meaning of that ata that you are a name that is able to open the sea you 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 need to believe in you, in yourself, that you are able to open the sea. And that word, Ata, that it's you, is a word that can open, it's a holy name that can open the sea. So you just need to believe in you. You need to believe in the enormous, great powers 
that God planted and treasured inside of you and just let yourself to be you and to be truthful your weaknesses are not something to be shy of you just need to be you you need to be you just need to be I'm working on my English you just need to be you just need to breathe okay so breathe it and Bezat Hashem from heaven we're gonna open gates of bounty and happiness health and holy wealth to us all Amen in this world in this period of time we have a mission what's the mission the mission is only not to forget the Creator to remember that it's all He never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings of all of those husks, husks.